What's up guys and welcome back for another EVE Online video. In this one I'm going to be talking about industry, manufacturing, and it's kind of targeted at people who are trying to get into um, manufacturing or just kind of industry in general and the, the process of just building items in EVE Online. The, uh, the goal for this video is to kind of give you some, uh, some insights or uh, some advice as to how you should kind of approach the entire kind of situation because it can be very daunting, that's the thing. You can definitely go down a rabbit hole when you start looking at all the different blueprints and all the different components that can be made and manufactured in this game. So I think if you're starting off, it's very easy to get lost. But with that being said, starting off small and then just kind of working your way into the more complex things is definitely something that is a little bit more manageable long term. Now, it's definitely perfectly fine when you're starting off to kind of work off of like blueprint copies that you find and just kind of make whatever you can it's a good exercise in finding just kind of a random uh, bpc and then looking at the requirements and then trying to go out and find that stuff or maybe even trying to like buy the raw materials and get a get a good profit on that one of the big things too is just kind of knowing exactly kind of what to build and the market in eve is always going to be changing always so my biggest piece of advice for anybody trying to get into manufacturing and things like that would be to try to diversify what you can make. Don't uh, try to stay within like one or two different types of items because the market is going to change. The more things that you are able to build from blueprints, the better, right? Because you can look at the market. Maybe today this certain item is more profitable than the other. And that's kind of how you have to play it at scale if you want really, really consistent income. Also, just kind of knowing how to like look at market. I don't usually use any sort of like spreadsheets or do anything crazy in order to look at like profit margins. I do try to track all of my expenses across the way. I also don't necessarily buy raw materials and then manufacture to flip. I end up, I prefer kind of just, you know, generating all the raw resources myself. But for instance, for the example of this video, we're going to start off with just something simple like a Mars shuttle. You probably won't make a Mars shuttles because there's a vast amounts of them um, on the market and things, but it's a good kind of little little exercise. And when you're also just looking for uh, BPCs, just kind of like seeing what's available and what it takes to make them and things like that. So this is a Mars shuttle, uh, and this shows you uh, what it kind of takes to go into it, right? 27, about 27, almost 2,800 uh, trit. And what I normally do in this case when I have the BPC or BPO up, I look at where the requirements are. This is going to go down when you research it, but it's better to kind of like highball yourself as far as uh, manufacturer costs. You can go to buy all and you can kind of see what the current value of that trit is. So we're looking at about, bring this up a little bit, we're looking at about 11.2 thousand. So we'll say 11.3 or you can just round to 12. And then let's go back to the BPC and now let's go to the actual product that it produces and we'll look at the uh, market details on that and see so you can set it, you, it these people are selling it for about 16,000 so that means that they're essentially you'd be making it you yourself would be making it for around 12,000 and then you'd be potentially selling it for up to 16 that's a quick and kind of dirty way of like looking at current uh, margins and profits and stuff like that and also just seeing if a blueprint is even worth the investment the blueprint itself for the Amar shuttle is only like 50,000 right do you take that you know blueprint or so to a uh, engineering complex whether it be in uh, somewhere in high sec or somewhere in low sec or preferably in null sec and you get it researched that will um, allow you to spend less trit on that shuttle so it would actually kind of make your uh, profit margins a little bit better and that's just kind of like one example, but kind of look at it in terms of like everything, right? A lot of people I know just kind of collect BPCs. That's kind of what they do is they just kind of, their goal is to kind of own as many uh, blueprint copy or blueprint originals as possible. They get them all researched. And then most of the time when they're playing, they're out mining ice or they're mining ore or they're mining moon or they're out looking at for specialty items with different PVE uh game modes and stuff like that and then once they kind of get all of those items into kind of one spot they're able to kind of look at their library of blueprints and see 
what's um, what's kind of worth it. And that's another benefit. If you're actually producing and manufacturing, which you should be in like low sec or most, you know, definitely in like null sec is where you should be doing this kind of stuff. Having an alt that sits in Jita, looking at prices can help you a lot too because then you're over there in your engineering complex, you're looking at your BPOs, you're wondering, hey, you know, can this stuff be, uh, can this stuff be, uh, profitable for me because you know if you're building it out in null sec you also have to understand that you probably have to export it so you need to kind of you know add that cost on top of everything as well having a jita alt is nice there's another way you can do this too without actually having a body in the marketplace you can just kind of like get a rough idea using eve appraisal but you can still see here like single cell is about 4.06 and then 3.8 for a buy so you really kind of just have to you know play the market and kind of figure out what is uh, profitable to you. But I really wouldn't try to get way too in the weeds about it. Um, if you know you definitely want to just get into manufacturing, just start slow by like just acquiring uh, Blueprint Originals, get them researched, going out and mining or, you know, producing those raw resources and just start making stuff and selling stuff. It's only then when you have the full kind of like pipeline, you'll be able to kind of um, understand you know what areas of manufacturing you enjoy because a lot of people I know have gone into like uh, more tech to uh, an invention and things like that or they're going into manufacturing that requires maybe more moon ore than traditional ore and they just kind of you know acquire all the other stuff at like you know surplus really kind of depends on how you want to go there's a lot of ways you can kind of approach it and you can get into a lot of niche markets if you find them and things like that but most of the time Another big piece, big piece of advice I have when it comes to actually just selling stuff on the market, especially if you hold a lot of inventory, don't get in a hurry to offload that inventory. You know, try to establish yourself where you can kind of like, you know, maintain yourself in your current, you know, gameplay loop by, because you have a lot of power. If you can hold um, inventory and wait for a really, wait for the market to kind of favor you, you end up actually uh, doing really, really well. And for me, that's a lot more enjoyable. You know, I log in every day and, you know, check the items that I might be holding. Are they good? You know, can I make a good profit on them? You know, and you can use spreadsheets kind of set, you know, minimum um, uh, value that you want to like at least get and things like that. But I figured this would just be kind of like a quick down and dirty uh, video covering, you know, kind of industry diversity and things like that. Hopefully it was enjoyable and you learned something. We'll try to do a little bit more in depth things as far as actually you going from um, raw resources into manufacturing and kind of I'll hopefully be able to make some uh, some videos showing the entire pipeline and all the ins and outs but this is a good place to start in just like conceptualizing the actual process and things so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one